guys, thanks for joining me again today. We're going to be trying out another three colours with our Yapo card. So this time I'm going to use Butterscotch, Mushroom and Meadow. Okay, so rather than put all the colours down at once, I'm going to do one at a time. So, and this is your alcohol blending solution. So I'm just going to move that ink around. And dry it off. Okay, so our next colour is meadow. And again, alcohol ink. Sorry, blending solution. <laughs> and then I'm going to move that around and just start bringing it into the colour that I put down first. And then dry that off. to pop mushroom down and you can see I'm only using a very small amount of alcohol ink you only need a tiny bit um, so you need to experiment with that really you don't want to put too much on because it then becomes quite sticky so then we'll go back to the yellow. So this gives us a little bit more control this way. So it's just a different way of working with the inks. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more down the edge here. That's just personal preference, just to balance it off a little.
Okay, so I'm just popping some blending solution down the sides there just to get rid of the harsh line. So that gives us a slightly different um, sort of technique, slightly different finish. Um, so I'm going to cut that up and stamp onto that a little later. Um, I just cut that in half so it makes me two cards. So I'm just going to stamp onto this now. This is archival that I'm using. Um, it's the only one that I've found works really well onto Yepo. Okay, so I'm picking a couple of flowers to stamp onto this. Um, okay, so inking up with the archival. And we're just going to pop that down. Try not to move it. Yepo can be a little bit slippy. So just try and keep it tight to the paper. And give that a good press. There we go. And then I'll use my smaller one that comes in the set and again we should just ink that up and then I'm going to bob that down by the side again just firmly press that try not to move it Keep it tight. Oh, there we go. Okay, and now we're going to use our spring words. I'm going to pop those just down the side there. Again, I'm going to ink up in the archival and then I'm going to take that second one off the words are a little bit more in the background So, okay, so we've got some new um, gel pens here as well. So, I'm going to just pick one of those just to colour in these areas on the pods. So, what colour shall we go with? I think this one's the um, rose gold actually. So, I'm gonna just 
bob a little bit of colour in there just to make it stand out. And there we go. See how that really does make that stand out quite nicely actually. So you can use any colour that you like. So a nice quick easy card to create using the Yapo background and then simply stamping on top of that and then I've just finished off with our jelly roll. As I say, the the um, I think this is the rose gold, but you can you can use any colour that you like. But we will list the colours we've used, so don't worry. Okay, guys, thanks ever so much for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Take care. Bye for now.